So how do you get a job doing web development if you don't have any experience? Let's take a look. So if you don't have any experience doing web development or programming of any kind, it's going to actually be kind of hard. You're going to have to be hustling a lot, but one, let me give you three quick tips on what you need to do to become a web developer with no experience in this job market. Okay, number one, I want you to go and sign up for free code camp. I want you guys to look at the Newbie Coder Warehouse Facebook group, which is a community of people that are learning to program. There's other Facebook groups like this, but this is the one I like. And also, I want you, if you, if you have a little extra money, I want you to sign up for Code School. And if you have a little bit extra money, I put some links below. There's some Udemy courses that can really help you become a web developer. But if you don't have any money, at least go to Free Code Camp and look at newbie coder warehouse or some other facebook groups where you can get into a group of people that will help you push you along but uh the one of the more important things about this is that i want you to spend 70 percent of your time actually working and creating things and then 30 percent of your time doing online courses and learning so 30 percent of your time just going through the free code camp going through these courses 70% of your time trying to take all those concepts you learn and actually do them. That is extremely important. Number two, if you have no experience and you're just getting into this, go to dreamhost.com, go to godaddy.com, go to some kind of web hosting out there, get a get your domain name registered, your first name, last name.com. If it's a common name or it's already taken, maybe your first name, middle initial, last name, Get that domain name, get an email address with your name in it. So like mine, eric at erichanchet.com would be mine. And use that for all your emails. And then at the same time, find a shared hosting plan. If you go through DreamHost, for example, you can pay $10 a month to get a cheap shared hosting plan. If you don't have any money, then you can go to GitHub pages. I believe GitHub pages, you can get a free hosting. Heroku has free hosting too. And you wanna start creating your portfolio from day one. So you're learning in step one, you're trying to learn how to program. You're also trying to apply everything you learn. Apply it also by creating this portfolio website. Create it from scratch. Don't use any templates, don't use WordPress. Just start putting all these building blocks together and trying to put together a website. Now, if you're not a designer, it is okay to go and buy a design if you have to, but at least understand the fundamentals behind that design. And if you have to, try to do a lot of the CSS yourself. You just wanna keep learning and you wanna build up a website so you can get this job in the future. So step number three is you need to start applying for jobs right away, from day one, really. So after you start learning a little bit of programming, you actually apply, trying to apply that programming, you're creating a portfolio site, start applying for jobs in your area if you're possible. If you're really dedicated, make sure that you are able to relocate anywhere in the United States and start applying for jobs everywhere. And the way you wanna approach this is that you wanna show employers that you have a lot of potential. So you're willing to work harder than other people. You're willing maybe even to take a pay cut, but you wanna get your, your foot in the door somewhere, someone that can take you in to help teach you and you have to prove to them that you have a lot of potential. And that's why you're working your butt off, learning, you're applying this, all this stuff you're learning to websites. You wanna keep to your own portfolio and you wanna just keep going out there and you wanna be expect that you may not be able to get every job that you apply for and every job you go to, keep a log of every single question you ask. So that way the next job, you'll be able to answer those questions and just keep trying and it might take many different job interviews to actually land that job. But as long as you keep on improving, you keep learning from the previous experience and you keep trying really hard and putting together your portfolio of site, it will eventually happen. So those are my three tips, what you can do to become a web developer without any experience and get a job. If you like this video, please click that subscribe button. That really helps me. And in the comments below, let me know how you got your first job. Did you, what did you do to get it? Thanks.